What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In this video, I'm going to go over the temperature system changes. And the first thing that I want to point out about the temperature system is the fact that soothing has been removed from the game. You will no longer see the soothing buff come up and you are not going to reap the health benefits that soothing offered. But that's really more a video about the healing. If you're interested in what changed with the healing, I'll link the video that I did about that in the top right hand corner of this video. So let's jump into what has changed with the temperature system. I'm going to pull up the map. Nothing in the exiled lands on the map has changed in temperature. Okay, so everywhere that you've been before and you've seen the temperature effects, those areas are the same. So they didn't change any areas on the map where it's hotter there now or colder there now. All that temperature stuff is the same. What they did change is mainly the mechanic for your armor. Now, something that I want to mention is that this is all test live content and is subject to change. Additionally, I feel like there's a few armors that are not set up properly and need some tweaking. And there's at least one component that is not working properly in test live. And I'll show you all that here today. However, I think that Funcom is on the right path with the changes that they're making to the temperature system. So I don't know how long it's been like this in game, but there are places in the exiled lands where you would go, let's say, to the Bridge of the Betrayer and perfectly naked you were one temperature. And if you equipped an armor that gave you heat protection, you would get colder. Same thing goes for the volcano. You would go up there and naked you would be one temperature. You put an armor on that is cold resistance and your temperature would get worse. It would not get any better. And this didn't make sense to a lot of players in the game. And what Funcom has done is they have alleviated that situation, or at least they're working towards it. There are some armors that I've looked at that I don't feel like are working correctly, and I'll show you those in this video. So what have they done to change this system? As you can see, we have the flawless veneer cap, and if you look here, it gives you one in heat protection and two in cold protection. So. The armors still have values. Some of them are going to be better in the cold than they are in the hot. However, equipping this armor should not make you have a negative effect from being naked to equipping armor. So let's go ahead and we will just equip this armor. You can already see I've gone from extremely cold to where it would probably be soothing before. But if I do the same thing, let's take this back off. If I do the same thing with the Hyperborean Slaver, and you can see this has two in heat protection and one in cold protection. If I put all this on, you can also see that it didn't negatively affect my character. In fact, it made a, it, it bumped me up an entire heat level so even though it's not the best armor to go running across the bridge of the betrayer in it still didn't make me colder which is what this is fixing if you're new here i'd encourage you to click that subscribe button click that bell so you get notified when i upload another video now i told you there were a couple of armors that i just didn't feel like they were doing what they should be doing so you can see the godbreaker boots have three in heat and three in cold. Additionally, the chilled Godbreaker boots have three in heat and three in cold. So I think this is just an oversight or a mistake, but if we put this on, you can see it does alleviate my temperature properly for this area wearing the Godbreaker. But if I swap it out for the chilled Godbreaker, we get the exact same temperature. So in essence, either the chilled Godbreaker or the Godbreaker is no longer 
viable or needed in the exiled lands or they just need to tweak this armor to give it a little bit better stat in one or the other. If you're enjoying this content, go ahead and whack that like button. Additionally, with this tweak, they did fix the temperature system here. You now see that you have a heat resistance and a cold resistance in every single area. So if we swap back over to this veneer armor and we look back at our stats, you can see that the heat resistance is four and the cold resistance is seven. Now what that means is that you should be able to find an armor combination that when you put it on, it will satisfy your needs for the most part in all areas of the exiled lands. And you can see even in my dancer outfit, once I put that on, I'm only very cold. I am not extremely cold like I was when I wasn't wearing anything. Now they have also changed the temperature debuff system. So there are more icons to show you what exactly is happening with your character. So if we remove this, you can see we get a different icon with a plus plus. We don't just get the one icon of cooling off or warming up. You can see and have more information coming at you from the UI. Now, something that I should note, something that didn't change, if you eat ice in a cold area, it is going to make you colder. And if you eat something that gives you a warming up effect, it is going to make you warmer. So those things haven't changed. And in fact, the fiery hot items are actually working as they were intended to. So the mechanic that I can't tell whether it's working or not right now, guys, is the mechanic where you put points in survival. And what it says in the patch notes or in the official announcement is that when you put points in survival, you're supposed to get half a point in insulation for every point that you put in survival stating that it will negate up to 30 degrees of temperature now i'm standing at the bridge of the betrayer i am frostbite currently it doesn't cause any damage but that'll be fixed before the patch comes out i have in my stats no insulation and i have nothing in survival now, I have noticed that when you put points in survival in an area and you don't let the temperature change, that doesn't work. So we're gonna come right out here. We are going to load our survival all the way up. So we're gonna go past the first perk, past the second perk, all the way up. We're gonna keep going all the way up to the fifth perk in survival. Now, this should negate 30 degrees of temperature our insulation should hold off 30 degrees of temperature so if i run back over here and i stop on the bridge of the betrayer again in the same spot the temperature gauge is going to show that we are back at the 53 degrees however this time i am only extremely cold instead of frostbite so if we go into our stats, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't know how that insulation system works when it says it's giving you half a point of insulation every time you put a point into your survival and how that equates to being able to get 30 points across the entire attribute system. It's really odd, it's really hard to understand exactly where all those numbers go and how to know how that works. However, this is one tier of temperature change with all those points in survival. Now it does stack with your armor, so let's go ahead and we'll just put the slaver armor on. And you can see that takes me to just cold in the coldest place in the exiled lands. So that's pretty cool. Am I going to put all of those points into survival? Nope. The other thing that's confusing on this is I thought that the temperature gauge would show that I had 30 degrees difference in standing here from not having any points in survival to putting points in survival. And the reason why is like if I eat 
or drink the spiced tea you can see I'm warming up you can see that temperature gauge is rising however with those points in survival it doesn't do that it doesn't raise your temperature gauge you're not gonna see quote-unquote the effect of those points in survival so I don't know I think just a lot of information with that in particular is kind of hidden and I'd like to see more feedback on that information you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below and that's all I have for this video but the fun doesn't have to stop here there's a couple of other videos coming up on the screen you can pick one of those to watch next I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it I'll catch you next time peace I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video.